two, one. Okay, I think you all can hear me. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, well, I'd like to call the call to order the July 2020 Parks Board meeting. Um, this is Susanna Scott Barnes, Vice Chair, filling in for our Parks Chair, Dr. Michelle Steele, who couldn't be here today. Um, first, I'll begin with getting a roll call of the commissioners present. So when I call your name, just let me know that you're here. Uh, Commissioner Anderson. Present. Commissioner Gentry. Present. Commissioner Haynes. <coughs> Commissioner Hughes. Present. Present. Okay. All right. Um, the Parks Board must vote on the record that the COVID-19 pandemic requires us to hold a telephonic meeting as permitted under the Governor's Executive Order Number 16, and that contrary rules are suspended. If anyone would like to propose a motion to this effect, please raise your hand and I'll call on you. Commissioner Anderson. I make a motion we accept. Is there a second? This is Commissioner Ginger, I second. Okay, thank you. Um, so now I'll do a roll call vote. Um, Commissioner Anderson. Approve. Commissioner Gentry. Present. Uh, Commissioner Gentry, we need you to approve or disapprove. Um, the motion is to approve the telephonic meeting. Um, Commissioner Gentry, what, what would your vote be? I think we're having a hard time hearing Commissioner Gentry. Um, Commissioner Gentry, can you hear us? I can. Okay, there we go. All right, what was your vote? Yes, I'm uh, sorry, yes. Okay, Commissioner Haynes. Okay, Commissioner Hughes. I approve. I approve. Okay, good. Um, well, seeing no opposition, um, the vote passes. Um, I just wanted to make a n add a note for our audience. Um, for those listening at home, the Parks Board members are calling in remotely. We are in separate places. When I ask them to raise their hand, that's an action occurring through the software. And the items on the meeting agenda constitute essential business of this body and meeting electronically is necessary to protect the health, safety, and welfare of Tennesseans in light of the COVID-19 outbreak. I'll skip ahead on the agenda to new business item 072002, the board to affirm the reappointment of Mr. Jeff Haynes as member of the Parks Board representing the Metro Planning Commission, effective June 1st. Mr. Haynes' term will expire May 31st. Thank you, Commissioner Haynes, for your service. Okay, um, appeal of decisions. Per pursuant to the provision of 2.8, so, excuse me, 2.68.030 of the Metropolitan Code of Law, please take notice that decisions of the Metro Board of Parks and Recreations may be appealed to the Chancery Court of Davidson County for review under common law writ of certiorari. Any appeal must be filed within 60 days after entry of a final decision by the board. Any person or other entity considering an appeal should consult with an attorney to ensure that time and procedural requirements are met. Uh, we were all given a copy of the minutes from the June 2nd meeting. If you've read those and would like to move to approve, please raise your electronic hand and I'll call on you.
Is there a motion to approve the minutes? I, I so move. Okay. Um, Commissioner Hughes, thank you. And Commissioner Haynes. Second. Okay, thank you. Um, I'll take a roll call vote. Um, Commissioner Anderson. Approve. Commissioner Gentry. Approve. Commissioner Haynes. Approve. Commissioner Hughes. Approve. Okay, the minutes are adopted. Um, okay, moving to old business um, <clears throat> 06. 2002, the staff requests board approval to accept a 0.15 acre greenways conservation easement from Green Trails LLC in a proposed residential development entitled Tree Haven and located at 0 Ashford Trace on parcel 1640002600 and described in the attached easement agreement and boundary survey exhibit. Is there a report and a recommendation from the Acquisitions Committee? There is the Acquisitions Committee met and recommends approval. Okay. Um, is there a motion? Okay, Commissioner Anderson. I make a motion we approve. Thank you, and a second? Second. Okay. Okay, Commissioner Hughes, thank you for seconding. Are there any, dis is there any discussion or comments? Okay, um, <clears throat> I'll take a roll call vote. Commissioner Anderson. Appro approve. Commissioner Gentry. Approve. Commissioner Haynes. Approve. Commissioner Hughes. Approve. Okay, seeing no um, opposition, the item passes. Um, the next item is <clears throat> 06-2003. Mr. Phil Ponder, representing the Donaldson Hermitage Exchange Club, requests permission to have four individual plaques professionally installed on stands in Hermitage Park adjacent to the Clearfer Landing sculpture designed by Joe Sorcy as a 9-11 memorial. Is there a recommendation from the signage committee? The signage committee met and um, unanimously approved. Okay, I just need a motion. Okay, Commissioner Haynes. Thank you. And is there a second? Let's see. I couldn't tell who that is. Could could you maybe yes. raise your electronic hand? I did. I did. Thank you, Sharon. Oh, okay. You're, oh, you guys are at the bottom there. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, no. Um, thank you. That was um, Commissioner Gentry. Um, is there any discussion or comments on this? Okay. Seeing none, I'll do a roll call vote. Um, <clears throat> Commissioner Anderson? Approve. Commissioner Gentry? Approve. Commissioner Haynes? Approved. Commissioner Hughes? Commissioner Hughes. Approved. Okay, thank you. The item passes. Okay, so moving to the consent agenda, there, um, there were 17 applications for events within parks that stretch into 2021. And since these applications have been vetted by the park staff, we'll consider these as one items. Um, is there a motion for the consent agenda? Okay, Commissioner Hughes. I move approval of the consent agenda. Okay, Commissioner Anderson. Second. Any discussion? Okay, roll call vote. Commissioner Anderson. Approve. Commissioner Gentry. Approve. Commissioner Haynes. Approve. Commissioner Hughes. Approve. Okay, the item passes. Okay, for new business, <clears throat> item 072004, Ms. Jenny Hannon, Executive Director of Friends of Warner Parks, requests the board to accept a grant in the amount of $3,000 to be used to fund a blind to be installed at the Indian Springs Shelter area to hide a porta potty. This donation will not require any matching funds from Metro Parks and no maintenance will, will be required. Is there a recommendation from staff? Okay.
Director Odom, is there a recommendation? I'm sorry, I was talking and I was muted. Um, I was saying that there is an agenda item just before that one, 07-2003, just before um, the item that you just read. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry about that. No worries. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, we'll, we'll back up. Um, okay, item 072003, Mr. Josh Ritter, representing McCabe Park Little League, requests the board to accept a donation valued at $11,482.41 for the installation of a water tap backflow preventer and irrigation system at the youth baseball field at McCabe Park. This donation will not require any matching funds from Metro Park. Uh, staff recommends approval. Okay. Is there a motion? Commissioner Anderson. I'll make the motion we approve. Okay. And Commissioner, um, is there a second? Okay. Um, Commissioner Haynes. Are you calling on me? Second. Um, I got Commissioner Haynes to jump in first. So, um, is there any comments or discussion on this item? Okay, seeing none, I'll take a roll call. Uh, Commissioner Anderson? Approve. Commissioner Gentry? Approve. Commissioner Haynes? Approve. Um, Commissioner Haynes? Thank you. Um, and Commissioner Hughes. Approved. Okay, thank you. The item passes. Okay, now going back to um, 072004, um, Jenny Hannon, Executive Director of Friends of Warner Parks, requests the board to accept a grant in the amount of $3,000 to be used to fund a blind to be installed at the Indian Springs Shelter area to hide a porta potty. This donation will not require any matching funds for Metro Parks and no maintenance will be required. Staff recommend approval. Okay. Is there a motion? Commissioner Hughes. I move approval of this uh, uh, 072004. Thank you. Um, Commissioner Gentry. Second. Thank you. Is there any discussion or comments? Okay, seeing none, roll call vote. Um, Commissioner Anderson? Approve. Commissioner Gentry? Approve. Commissioner Haynes? Approve. Commissioner Hughes? Approve. Okay, thank you. The item passes. Um, Commissioner Gentry, did you have your hand raised? I'm sorry, it's a whole okay. Okay. Um, all right. Next item is 072005. Ms. Jeannie Hannon, Executive Director of Friends of Warner Parks, requests the board to accept a grant in the amount of $10,472.05 to be used to fund three kiosks to be installed at the headquarters of Vaughn Road, the Vaughn Creek entrance, and the Hill Forest. This donation will not require any matching funds from the Metro Parks and no maintenance will be required. Um, is there a recommendation from staff? staff? Staff recommends approval. Okay. Is there a motion? Okay, two at once. I think Commissioner Hughes got there first. Um, and uh, Commissioner, I move, I move that we approve this. this okay. Okay, Commissioner Anderson. Okay. Uh, second. Um, is there a discussion? Okay. Roll call vote is Commissioner Anderson. Uh, approve. Commissioner Gentry. Approve. Commissioner Haynes? Approved. Commissioner Hughes? Approved. Okay. 
Uh, the next item is the 072006 board to approve the cost of living salary increase consistent with Metro employees for the director of Metro Parks as per the 2020-2021 Metropolitan Government Pay Plan. Um, since the park director is not able to make a recommendation on this, um, I'll just jump in and say that the um, the Metro government pay plan, which was approved and went into effect on July 1st, designates a 1% salary increase for all Metro employees. Our board must approve all salary increases for the parks director. Is there a motion? Okay, I uh, think Terry, <laughs> Commissioner Hughes <laughs> got there first. I move approval. Thank you, um, Commissioner Anderson. Second. Thank you. Um, is there any discussion? Okay. Um, for vote, roll call vote. Commissioner Anderson. Approve. Commissioner Gentry. Approve. Commissioner Haynes. Approve. Commissioner Hughes. Please. Okay, um, the next item is 072007, staff request board approval to renew an agreement between Metro Parks and Cheekwood Botanical Gardens and Museum of Art for the care and maintenance of Riverview Gardens located in Riverfront Park. Director Odom. Staff recommends approval. Okay, is there a motion? Commissioner Hughes, is there a second? I move approval. Thank you. I need a second. Okay, Commissioner Haynes. Is there any discussion? Okay. Um, for the roll call, uh, Commissioner Anderson. Approve. Commissioner Gentry. Approve. Commissioner Haynes. Approve. Commissioner Hughes. Approve. Okay, thank you. The item passes. Uh, the next item is 072008 staff request board approval to enter into a permit between Metro Parks and the Nashville Chew Crew for the use of Bell's Bend Sod Farm. Staff recommend approval. Okay. I'd like to, uh, is there a motion? Commissioner Gentry. And the acceptance of the staff recommendation. Okay. And second, Commissioner Hughes. Second. Um, is there any discussion? Okay. Um, roll call vote. Commissioner Anderson. Approve. Commissioner Gentry. Approve. Commissioner Haynes. Approve. Commissioner Hughes. Approve. Okay, the item passes. All right. Um, for capital projects update, we'll call on Tim Nates, the head of the Parks Planning Department. Thank you. And I will just hit on um, uh, changes from last month or highlights. Um, at, at Beeman Park, the final wayfinding signage is on order, and that will allow us to open the approximately uh, 10 miles of new trail there that had been completed first. Um, at Bill Ridge Park and Ravenwood Park, we bid we did we uh, bid both of those together for a construction contract. And uh, the Metro Procurement Division has issued a notice of intent to award to, um, to American constructors. And we will begin contract negotiations soon on both of those. In Percy Warner Park, the LA restoration, this is the project that's funded by Friends of Warner Parks. And um, it is, uh, it's uh, moving along. The, the vast majority of the stonework is complete and we've been meeting and having discussions about getting grass established. So we tentatively uh, have a date of early August to um, reopen the LA, but that will be dependent on, um, on successfully establishing the, 
grass in the areas that have been disturbed by construction. And then a new project on the list is the Watkins Park pump track. Um, you may recall a couple of years ago, Sorba, the Southern Off-Road Bicycle Association, gave a presentation on this project, and it was approved as part of the annual uh, permit, and it is a partnership between Sorba, National Parks Foundation, and the Oasis Center um, Bike Workshop. So that design is complete and it is in construction permitting right now. And um, that group and partners is working very hard to um, complete construction by early fall. And then just, um, just for your information, there are several projects that continue to be um, frozen, uh, primarily due to uh, Metro's financial situation. That is the Hadley Park Pavilion project, the reconstruction of the Madison tennis courts and uh, the Wharf Park Master Plan. And then in the last month, we have completed the renovations to the Antioch Community Center. So that's substantially complete and we're in the process of turning it back over to parks. There will still be a few items to take care of the installation of some light fixtures and things like that. But otherwise that project is done. And that concludes my report. Um, okay, that's great. It looks like uh, Commissioner Anderson's got his hand raised. I do, thank you. Um, um, I wanted to ask uh, Tim um, about Church Street Park. Um, Monique was um, sent out an email outlining um, the detail of the donation. And I wanted to get an update, maybe more detail of what's going to happen there. And in terms of physical improvements, when is this going to happen? And then I'd have another question after that. Okay, I, I can uh, attempt uh, a start at answering that question, and then I can provide, and then we can pull to get collectively pull together additional information if you if you like. Um, Tim, Tim, can I just pause you for a second? I, I, I'm having a hard time hearing you, and I, I wonder if maybe uh, people who aren't talking can mute. I think that might help. Yeah, I think that's a good point. Okay, is, is better. that better? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, George, I, I may need to, to pull together the latest and get back to you and the rest of the board members on it, but in general, the intent is to um, close the park um, uh, within the next few weeks, I think late July, early August, with the intent of, of making the uh, undertaking the improvements to the park and then reopening it in time for um, programming associated with the centennial of the 19th amendment. Um, and the improvements are uh, essentially as proposed in the um, materials that you all reviewed um, when you approved the, the partnership. Um, and I, again, I can send, I can send that out again, but in general, it is a, um, uh, a lot of um, improvements to planting and irrigation. Um, and then they will be um, uh, installing uh, movable cafe style seating. They'll be removing some of the other uh, seating, um, installing some uh, planters and other, um, you might call uh, cosmetic um, improvements to um, kind of polish it up a bit um, in order for it to work more successfully for their programming activities. So I would ask that we do get more detail on the physical improvements and programming. Um, there's a lot of stakeholders in the neighborhood in the last month or two that have asked me about it. And I just think we need to know exactly what's going on. Uh, and, you know, and, and it was that donation given to the parks? Because uh, uh, when I was looking at it, a lot of this is in kind. So uh, did we get a check for the money to do this? And who's overseeing the expenditures of this? Um, uh, Commissioner, excuse me, Tim. I was going to. Um, Commissioner Anderson, no, it is an in kind donation. So much like we receive from um, other organizations um, that the Park Board approves, it is the value of the improvement of the park so we will not receive cash so it is an in-kind donation 
And then my other, a couple more questions. So this is supposed. This was a six month um, period of time that this group we approved to short term program this park, correct? To get us through the Nineteenth yeah. Amendment celebration. So yes, when, did, when, when, did, when is that? When is that in period? I'd have to look back at the documentation. And there is an end period um, the, in the information that you all received. I can get that exact date, but it is temporary and not, not permanent. Yes, sir. Okay. The, the last I, thing I believe is, the documentation said a six week six week period is what it said rather than six months. I think, I think, I think six that's months. Okay. I mean, we can check it. But, okay. Um, I, I can't remember, but um, the last thing is. Um, I do think we need to put this on as an agenda item on maybe the next board meeting or the board meeting after. And I, I think we need to, at the end of this period, my opinion is um, discuss taking this whole Church Street Park to an RFP so uh, the public can have an option if they want to um, be involved in this, you know, for going forward. So I just want to make sure we go to an RFP process eventually. I think it's good we're doing the short term. To get through the celebration of the 19th Amendment, and it'll be a good test for us. But I, I would like to get that on the agenda as an agenda item. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey, okay. uh, good questions, Commissioner Anderson. Thank you for that. Were there any other questions for the planning department? Okay. Um, which is next is our update on special events and activities from Superintendent Community Affairs, Jackie Jones. Thank you. Can you hear me okay? Yes, we can hear you great. Great. Well, as most of you know, July is Parks and Recreation Month, and we've curated a number of family-friendly, socially distanced activities for the month. Uh, a few of those include sitting on the porch at the Warner Park Nature Center and watching the hummingbirds or playing a round of disc golf at one of our five designated diff, disc golf courses or visiting one of the farmers market at Two Rivers, Severe, Bellevue or Richland Parks. But over and above the events, what we wanted to do was to use this month to pro profile some of our many employees who are essential to this department and to this city. And these are not senior staff or division heads, but folks who are actually boots on the ground, so to speak. You know, the ones who answer the call at two o'clock in the morning after a tornado is swept through, or the ones who are sometimes surrogate parents to some of the kids at community centers, or even the ones who create great programs that are recreational, but educational as well. Uh, you can see their photos and profiles on our Facebook page, and we hope you take the time to do that. There's a different one each day, and the posts have been very, very successful. That concludes my report. Wonderful. I always enjoy hearing, hearing your reports. Thank you. Um, director's report. Thank you so much, Madam Vice Chair. Um, as you all know, we are now in fiscal year 21, and you all very well know as well that the FY21 operating budget was passed and approved by Metro Council, and um, some of those highlights that directly impact our department um, include um, the target savings of $1,065,000 um, that had been um, held in our um, operating budget for the past two years has been permanently removed. Um, longevity pay and travel budgets um, have been cut from our budget along with um, across Metro, departments across Metro government. We did receive um, an improvement of $450,000 to open neighborhood community centers on Saturday mornings. That will be the plan at this point is to open them from 8 to 12 and we will implement those openings as soon as possible. There are um, OMB and HR processes that we need to um, complete and satisfy. And as soon as we can get those open um, and hire those staff, we absolutely will. Um, as uh, Commissioner Scott Barnes mentioned earlier during the meeting, 
Uh, Metro employees will receive a 1% cost of living improvement. Thank you so much for approving mine as well. Um, and then also as of July 1st, um, the hiring freeze that had been um, implemented, enacted at Metro has been lifted. Um, even with um, some of these additions and improvements that we have received in the operating budget, please keep in mind that um, our, our budget, our operating budget is still very tight. And actually with the removal of those target savings, we have even less flexibility for spending. And, and um, as has been the case in the past several years, we'll have to rely on target savings, um, salary savings, I'm sorry, salary savings to end the year FY21 within budget. So that means we cannot fill every budgeted position and we will need to be strategic about um, filling positions. Um, as you all also probably know, um, the reopening plan for Nashville has rolled back to a modified uh, version of phase two. And with the exception of gathering sizes, nothing has um, really changed for parks and recreation. Um, we have suspended summer camps across the department um, and have relied on virtual programming um, where we can. And that's been very successful in, um, in all of our divisions. We do, it did enter an agreement with um, the YMCA to temporarily provide space um, for child care for essential employees. It's a temporary, again, it's temporary and it's I think the dates are June 22nd through uh, uh, July 24th. Um, it was a critical need for the YMCA and we're grateful that we were, were able to support them as community partners um, to provide space and it's actually at Morgan Community Center. Um, for the Centennial Women's Suffrage Celebration, it is scheduled for August 18th of um, this year in a few weeks. Um, it may be modified in some way, um, but I did want to let you know that skydivers are scheduled for that event if it if it moves forward in its um, planned format. And that approval for the skydiving was handled through the council process. Uh, council members Hager and Hancock um, sponsored um, a bill that allows for skydiving for that event um, on that day, and that is all. Um, I would, um, I'd like to acknowledge one of our um, parks teammates who will be moving on to greater things, um, Mr. Jeff Chandler uh, for, for 48 years of service, um, for his 48 years of service to Metro Parks. Um, Jeff is a maintenance and repair district supervisor in our consolidated maintenance division and today is his last official day of work. Um, he has, um, no doubt been a hard worker, but a solid member of our parks team. And we will certainly miss Jeff um, and his quiet, uh, resolved spirit, but wish him all the best in that. Um, additionally, I did want to uh, acknowledge the term of service, the end of term of service, excuse me, of Mr. Stan Fossick one of your um, co-park board members, his term of service has ended. Um, he served for 30 years uh, on the parks board. He has the distinction of being the longest serving parks board member in Nashville history. Um, he has been an unwavering advocate for our employees and our department. And he will always be a part of the parks family. I know that you all feel that same way. And um, given that we are now and probably our next meeting will be um, in electronic format, um, I look forward to honoring Stan in a fitting way for his service at our next in-person meeting. Um, with that, those are my, that's my report. Thank you so much, my, Madam Vice Chair. Wow, thank you. Gosh, the 48 years, that's a long time. And, and I wish we were in person to, to um, congratulate Jeff for um, 48 years of service. That's wonderful. Yeah. Um, and, and for um, Commissioner Fossick too, but we look forward to celebrating him um, as soon as we can in person. Um, 
Okay, are there any announcements or requests for future agenda items in addition to the one that Commissioner Anderson's already brought up? I did not have any at this time. I'd like to add um, one myself. Um, given the recent sentiments of social and racial unrest in our country and in our state and our city, I'd like to recommend that we revisit or at least discuss our decision from the September 2019 Parks Board meeting to leave the Confederate private monument at Centennial Park. Um, <clears throat> as you all may, may recall, the relocating or removing that statue requires approval from the state, but we as Parks Commissioners are not prohibited from making such a request and in the interest of supporting a um, robust and clear discussion, I'd like to recommend that we take the matter up in our next in-person meeting. Yes, ma'am, we'll document it as an agenda item along with um, the item from uh, Commissioner Anderson. Okay, are there any additional items? Okay, seeing none, we'll call the July Parks meeting adjourned. This has been a service of the Metro National Network. If you would like to see this presentation again, or for more information about this and other programs, visit nashville.gov.